So we're all um, dealing with a lot of stress, and surprise, surprise, some things have actually gotten um, worse. Uh, pornography viewing, for instance, has gone up a lot. Um, even people who weren't watching that much are now watching extreme amounts. So let's let's just take a quick time to look at this because oftentimes pornography is treated like it's just there's there's I mean it's a victimless crime and let's just all just move and that's just not true. Um, in fact, I'm seeing a lot of relationships messed up by you know one of the partners trying to get the other person to look at porn with them and it works for a, some sometimes for a little bit. And then it just causes irreversible damage, and the whole thing spirals. You know, um, if somebody's willing to look at porn with you, they're willing to cheat behind your back. I mean, that's just one of the things that happens. There's a lot of dangers to pornography, and I know that everybody's talking about coronavirus, and everybody's talking about this and that, but, you know, we do still need to work on uh, dangerous habits and, and patterns and, and addictions that we're, that we're dealing with. They are still things that need to be addressed, and pornography is one of those things. So let's look at it. Um, the first uh, the first danger that I want to mention is when you look at pornography as a habit, it causes a lot of confused sexual expectations. You have a lot of kids, um, ten year olds, even eight year olds. I mean, I was nine when I got into porn. So uh, you have a lot of kids who are watching porn, and this is their instruction on sex and on sexual encounters. And then you have sex ed at school, which is not giving the full picture. Um, most kids think that if they wear a condom, they're safe. When condoms don't prevent, don't have a very high percentage on preventing pregnancies. First off, and then second off, they don't, they don't uh, prevent all se uh, sexual transmission, uh, STD transmissions. Um, also, uh, they don't, t they don't tell kids that um, any disease, S any STD that is transmitted through um, vaginal sex is also transmitted through oral sex. This is something that they don't even teach them. Um, there, there's a lot of other things that keep going about what they're not teaching them. So then they watch porn, and this is like their instruction of this is how you do it, and all I have to do to be safe is wear a, wear a condom. You know, and so then you just have this disconnect, and parents kind of not really being involved, and then you have kind of this overlying relative thing where it's like you are whatever you believe you are. So if you're, you know, a, a grown man who wants to have sex with a child, then that's just what it is. Uh, if you're a man who wants to have sex with a man, that's just what it is. It, you know, and there's just this, this complete confusion about, well, what's right and what's wrong and how do we decide? I mean, before they were saying this, oh, love is love, and so that was the that was the guiding star. But now they're they're saying, well, love is love except for when it's something that I don't agree with, like for instance, a person who thinks that he's a child but is actually a grown person having sex with a child. Then all of a sudden, no, it's not love is love. So it's like kids are kind of confused. They want a standard. They want something to say, well, how do how do we know what's going on? So obviously you take this confusion into your relationship, and it's met with just, just disappointment. You're, you're disappointed in the experience. You're disappointed in the person. You're disappointed in yourself. You just There's just a lot of confused feelings, and it's sometimes I'm not even sure where it's directed against. Um then another another thing that happens is you start building up a dependence on certain triggers where they first off you're overly horny so you get a release but then it starts building on it where you have to have certain things to get you sexually aroused for instance let's say you're watching porn um and let's just say you have one video and you watch it one video every single day well eventually it's not gonna it's not gonna mean as much sex is, is really an adventure and it's something that you experience so if you're experiencing someone else's experience there's just kind of this this problem that happens so you have to find new videos of maybe the same trigger or learn new triggers and so it just causes a problem there especially when you're married um, or in another sexual relationship uh, and maybe you want something that they don't or they don't or you don't want something they do, and it's just kind of like, it gets a little bit confusing there. Um, it causes a lot of dissatisfaction with your partner. Um, you start seeing this is this is how they should be acting, they're not acting like this. Or maybe, let's say you're both addicted to pornography, but you're addicted to two different kinds of pornography. So this person is expecting you to act like this, and you're expecting them to act like this, and your whole life, your whole world is torn apart by sex. Something that was supposed to be 
um, the icing on the cake has now become the singular most important thing. Relationships should never be be founded on sex. And when they are, you just got a lot of problems that, that develop. And a lot of trust issues, too. Um, which is another reason why open marriages, you know, really just don't work. Uh, or open relationships in general. If you're dating someone, you should really have the, have the decency and respect for them. You don't want to respect yourself, that's, that's whatever, that's you. But you should really have the respect for another person to, if, if, if you're dating them, give them the give them the time or be straight with them. Look, I, I'm not really overly serious about you, so I'm dating these other people. And if you are serious about them, then you shouldn't be dating these other people. So um, sometimes there's this kind of, um, there's kind of an itch that they can't scratch because it's kind of a, a self-created itch. And it causes things that... Um, are unhealthy psychologically, like for instance uh, S and M, um, sadism, masochism. Th this is very. This is a scientifically of, of mental issues that really do need to be addressed. But they're being portrayed like they're not that harmful. They're portrayed in pornography like they're not harmful. They're portrayed in, in movies like Fifty Shades of Grey, for instance. It's just not really something that is um, what a healthy individual does, and. Uh, Typically, if one person is into it, they'll try and rope their partner into it. And so there's just a kind of an issue there. Um, another thing you don't hear is there's a lot of danger that happens with anal sex um, that causes lifelong problems. Um, and so then you have things like pegging, and for instance, that, that are you know real big. And so, oh, let's try pegging. And it's like, well, the anus really wasn't meant for force, um, for repeated blows. Uh, for a lot of different things like that, for shivering just a bunch of stuff in there, it just it wasn't made for that. Um, I mean, you even see the trauma that's caused from somebody being constantly constipated, where it'll cause a lot of hemorrhoids and those kinds of issues. Um, so how much how much more so for something that really wasn't meant to go both ways? And then you have people using things for lubricant that they really shouldn't, and and so you have just compounding problems that develop. Um, so, so maybe be a little bit more concerned about physical health would be a good thing. Um, and then, uh, then there's kind of this hunger for more than they can give. Like they give you sex, you want more. Um, they give you sex, you want sex with three people. You know what I mean? So it's, it just kind of gets to be a problem there. Um, another thing is demanding perfection from them in many ways. You know, you expect them to not be human anymore. They can't, they have to be perfectly clean. They have to have the perfect makeup on every time. They have to have the perfect clothes on. Spontaneous sex. Sex goes out the door because it has to be something where they have to go through all these different um, different steps in order to fulfill you because it's all about you. It doesn't get to be mutually beneficial. It's all about me and my pleasure, um, which obviously causes problems for the other person's satisfaction level and, and that. I mean, yeah. A lot of sex is meant to be um, spontaneous and just experienced in a way that isn't written down. I mean, ask ask married people who are happy with their sex. Hey, do you do the exact same thing every single time? Well, no. There's kind of this this process of growing together. You shouldn't be having sex the same way five years later from now. And I'm not saying trying different things. What I'm saying, you can you can have you can have sex in missionary every single time, for instance. That's not what I'm talking about. But sex is really meant to be more than just you know, let's go through all the motions. It's, it's our tradition. This is how we do it. We do it every single day on this week. I mean, on this day of the week. And we do it like this every single time. Now is when I kiss. Now is when we finish. See what I mean? It's, it's not meant to be like that. And unfortunately, pornography makes a killing off of being that. You have people um, having to perform, uh, having to perform in just the right way. And they always have the perfect this, the perfect that. Um, there's no flaws, you know, you never see, you get to see their mistakes. You never get to see, what about that time where she's had uh, a pregnancy that messed up her bladder, and so she pees a little bit on accident. Well, that's what happens in real life, because, check it out, women, women sacrifice their body for, for the, for the, for the pleasure of their, of their, of their mate. And, unfortunately, typically, it's the men who don't appreciate that's the unfortunate thing. A lot of times I see more more than more I usually see it like this where a man um, will be completely oblivious 
to the pain that the woman's going going through and eventually it just she'll be like I want a divorce and the guy says what completely oblivious to it women just have a higher tolerance for um, continual emotional pain whereas men if our woman treats us bad like once we're like your butt's out the door you see what I mean we just not as we don't we don't know how to endure as well as, as women and typically speaking obviously that's just a generalization and all generalizations are never 100% true anyways um, but demanding perfection from them in, in many ways, you know, you ha they have to do this, they have to do this, they have to do this. Um, another another thing that happens when you look at porn is your mind becomes distracted. Uh, maybe you're thinking about porn, maybe you're thinking about somebody else. That's where you get into danger. When you're thinking about her sister, when you're thinking about her mom, when you're thinking about um, her friends, this gets to be bad. When you're thinking about the porn that you watched instead of the person that you're sharing life with. That's that's the problem. That's really a problem. See, sex isn't just about an act. It's about a connection of souls. And it's something that's very, um, very intimate. But if your idea of intimacy is something that was gained, once again, as a child from watching pornography, you're not really going to know what intimacy is. Um, and just kind of minds off somewhere else while you're being in an intimate situation. Um, maybe even failing to, um, you know, do romantic things, things that make the other person feel special, or thinking that it always has to lead to sex. I only say I love you if we're having sex, or, you see what I mean, things like that, and it's just kind of maybe trying to click all the boxes rather than trying to connect with another person. Um, another thing is you, lo you eventually lose the ability uh, to control your thoughts. Uh, your mind will stray on things that you don't want it to when you don't want it to um, and this will rub off in other areas maybe you'll have a have a harder time with worrying because you're undisciplined in one area and that lack of discipline will will set will kind of go to other areas of your life um, and it, be, it gets to be where it's very distracting where you're trying to experience life with your kids and you can't because your mind's always elsewhere um, inability to control urges um, you know, pornography is all about self-pleasure on my time. You know, I do what I want when I want. And life is a lot about the opposite of that. And so you really have these conflicting views, and eventually you're going to do something stupid or say something stupid. Or... Okay. Um, I think there's neighbor doing something or something. Anyways, um, another thing that happens is you get these degrading passions like that maybe this is where you start out but it always degrades um, maybe it'll degrade into you know you're into violent things or maybe it'll degrade where you're into like vile things like with animals or something or maybe with children or something where it, where it degrades is that point of your thoughts just just go down and obviously this is worsened by excuse me childhood trauma for instance um, if you were raped or or inappropriately touched this is this is all going to have an effect and the correct thing to do with that is not to hide in porn it's to go and get help and uh, you can find good counselors and whatnot if, if you look for them um, another thing thing about porn is it changes the way you think for instance women become kind of like um, objects you don't really see them as a person you don't see them as an individual you don't see them as having their own desires life is all about you um, you become disconnected from the world. Um, it's kind of like you're living while looking through uh, glass. You know, it's just something that just kind of it, emotions kind of become dulled, pleasures become kind of dulled. There's just a lot of different problems that happen there. Um, and then you get this kind of subtle idea that I'm more important. Life has to revolve around me. Um, you know, we get things to please ourselves: a bigger car, a, a bigger bigger house bigger this bigger this our our, our 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 partner has to be better looking you know that we're always like we walk into the room and the first thing we do is we start comparing you know uh is my wife hotter than that guy's wife it's not about just enjoying the person and what happens by the way when the physical um attributes go away what happens when age kicks in um is your love going to sustain you is your is your faithfulness going to sustain you through that um, and another unfortunate thing that happens that, that people don't even realize is you lose the ability to creatively problem solve. Um, you, you start, th no, this is this is the way, this is the way to do it, this is the way, you know, and it's kind of it kind of becomes this either or thing. Uh, a lot of times I hear people say who are trying to get out of pornography, either I will never masturbate ever again, or I will always look at porn. It's like, well, now hold on, 
Let's just calm down. Well, no, because pornography is a sin, therefore all sexual pleasure is a sin or something. And it's like, well, you know, sometimes, sometimes the answer is right in front of you, but you lose that ability to creatively analyze and, and, and move on from there. Um, well, my chickens just freaked out. Um, so uh, another thing is pornography affects your opinions of habits. If you're someone who's trying to get out of habits and you're looking at porn, what happens is you start having these ideas like, oh, I can never change, or um, I'll never get over this, or this is just a part of who I am, or oh, everybody's doing it, or whatever. And it, it just kind of affects uh, your habits, how you deal with your habits, and all that. Um, obviously, pornography causes erectile dysfunction. This is both physical and psychological. Um, pornography definitely encourages rape culture. You know, they, they see something on, on, on oh man, they, they like it. Yeah, and you just give it to them. Yeah, they like it like that. And it's like, eh, no, I don't think they do. They're saying no. That typically means no. And, and so then you have this whole, oh, no means yes thing. And it's like, <sighs> the only way that that could even remotely be true is if you had talked about it beforehand without manipulation or, or coercion and um, you both decided to do something and you had like a safe word or something like that. These are all good examples of, of, of that. But typically when somebody says no, it means no. Obviously, if, if um, you are you have bad role models and you were raised on, on pornography, this is going to be something that's a little bit harder to grasp. Um, you have to remember to respect people, okay? Really, it's something that you... Um, and pornography is all about other people being degraded for your own amusement, for your own pleasure. Um, you know, you, you watch videos of, of uh, people getting spit on or, you know having sex with other or forcing someone into sex or s and m or all these different things and um it, it it's all about excuse me it's all about your own amusement do you do you think that they're doing that just because oh they're having a good time are they though if they have actually learned to have a good time through that that's probably a bad thing that means they were mistreated for so long that they've actually learned to enjoy the mistreatment that's something that should really scare us, especially realizing if you have kids, think about this. That could be your daughter. That could be your wife. Oh, it's so hot. Th th this person cheated on their spouse. Just stop and think about that. Somebody's life that they've been building with another person, they're throwing it away, and you're getting off to that? See, that shows that there's something wrong not just with – with with them and, and 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 the struggle that they're dealing with but with you and drawing a pleasure from it and then wiping your mouth and saying i've done nothing wrong the problem is is that when you look at porn for so long you start saying you know what? it's not that it's not that bad because you do it and anything that you do you're just gonna assume is okay why why do white people have such a hard time talking about racism because it's not been a part of our lives for so long why make it a part now see what i mean um, then you talk to, let's say, for instance, a black person, and they're saying, "Hey, you know, we've been talking about about you know the lack of equality in our music and our in, in our acting in our books. So we've been talking about it and talking about it, and you just haven't been listening." And it's like, "Oh, yeah, I, I guess we haven't been listening." See what I mean? The idea of degrading someone else for your own amusement because, hey, if I'm doing it, that means that it's right. Um, obviously, it reduces intimacy to nothing more than sexual pleasure. Um, it, intimacy is no longer about spontaneousness. It's, it, kissing always leads to sex. It's not about just being with someone and living life with someone. It's no longer about any of those things. Um, and then you get addicted. You know what I mean? Um, intimacy is sexual pleasure. Then you, you're just addicted to, to that, to the high or to the experience or whatever. And uh, then it just gets to be something that controls your whole life. Um, another thing is pornography is one of the greatest causes for sex trafficking. Just think about that every single time you look at porn. That your porn addiction is literally helping to fuel the sex trafficking. And you know what? Pe people will always say, give themselves excuses like this. I'm just one person. I'm not going to make that big of a difference. Not like that, you won't. And besides that, even if everybody else is doing something wrong, that doesn't mean that you should. Let's say... Everybody in the whole U.S. owns a slave. Are you going to own a slave? 
Oh, no, I would never. And yet, you're condoning this because you're saying that everybody's doing it. If you're condoning looking at porn because everybody's doing it, chances are you would own a slave because everybody was doing it. So are morals absolute, or are they just whatever we decide they are? This is something you need to think about. Where does morality come from? Why should I listen to the views of others? Why should I listen to the views of myself? These are all things that, that they have to be addressed. What is your responsibility and what isn't your responsibility? If you're not thinking about these things, you shouldn't be looking at porn. Even if you have been thinking about these, maybe you've thought about them wrong. Um, pornography causes a perfection in sex that's just not healthy. There's no room for people and their mistakes. Um, there's no room for, um, you know, real life. Um, I remember um, when I first got married, um, I can't believe it. I, you know, I haven't wet the bed since I was a kid, and I have never wet it since. But for some reason, I accidentally peed the bed the, the, for, I believe it was the first morning. That's gross, and it's, you know, it's, but it's life, and, you know, things, unexpected things happen. Uh, sometimes your, your, your partner is going to want to be intimate or whatever, and they've got like a huge zit or a, a big booger or something, and, you know, the, the things aren't always perfect all the time, and, um, you know, there's something that happens. <clears throat> You know, women, for instance, their body goes through extreme trauma to produce a child. Extreme trauma. Like, it causes a lot of damage. And uh, most men don't even think twice about it or appreciate it. And uh, so then you have a child, and um, all you can think of is your loss of free time uh, when your wife has to, or partner, whatever, has to deal with the, the strain that was put on her body. Um, things like not being able to control, control bowel or, or bladder. Uh, things like having a harder time with periods, things like having uh, more pain, things like having uh, emotions out of whack, all kinds of different things. Um, and then another thing that the pornography does is it normalizes perverted acts, like somehow it's okay. You know what I mean? If, if you just think about the idea of porn, even if it's not hardcore porn, it's still kind of a gross thought if you just think about it. You're watching someone else, someone else who's naked. That's kind of gross. Do we walk naked through Walmart? No, because we think that's embarrassing and gross, and I don't want to see other people walking down naked in Walmart. It's just kind of, I was in Vegas, and uh, we were walking the strip, and uh, the, this woman without a top on, just she had uh, the, the nipple, um, you know, the coverings for the nipples. She had that on, but uh, it, it was very embarrassing. I was walking with my wife and my kid. Very embarrassing. Um... You know, and, and things like that. We know in our heart that that's wrong, but then we get alone in our house, and suddenly it's not wrong. Um, and then think about this: you're watching someone else experience an intimate moment with that is just awkward. Have you ever like been in your backyard trying to have a serious conversation with somebody, and somebody looks over the fence, and you're just like, "Mind your own freaking business, Fred." You know what I mean? And then it's okay for you to watch two people do things. Naked, because, what? <laughs> Do you like people talking about you? No? Well, then why should you be watching other people? So, um, it, pornography it causes a lot of introversion and disconnection from the world, separation from real life, uh, kind of trying to, kind of like, like afraid to experience life, keeping yourself safe all the time. Uh, obviously, it destroys trust. Anytime that you're in a relationship with someone and they catch you on porn, it's, it's more than likely going to just ruin them. Unless they're one of those people who uh, wants to look at porn with you, in which case that, that relationship's kind of doomed for failure there. Um, recruiting others to join you never ends well. Um, you know, for instance, it's always like, oh, let's have a three-way. It's going to be great. And then relationships are ruined. Um, all kinds of bad stuff happens. And then more people will always have, there will always be people who have orgies, always be people who have three-ways, even though it causes such damage in other people. Oh, well, I only wanted you to be intimate with that with that other person when I was there in a three-way, but now you've been talking to them behind my back. <sighs> you can't honestly be surprised about that kind of stuff. Intimacy was really just meant for a husband and a wife. 
And whenever you break from that, there's always going to be um, unfortunate, um, just unfortunate pain that results. Um, so, okay, I, I hope that this is just... Um, it, kind of maybe helped you to see through the lie that pornography is not harmful at all. It's just completely a lie. Pornography is harmful. It does have many dangers. Um, get out while you can. And if you can't, keep fighting until you can. Um, it took me years of trying, and then I changed my strategy, and I was able to. I actually have a, a playlist um, excuse me, called Help with Depression, Anxiety, and, and um, Pornography, or Addictions. I figure which. Um, either way, it's on my YouTube channel. You can watch it. It has, all, it has videos where I talk about these kinds of things, little little tips um, and things that I've learned. And, and, and so, okay. Um, yeah, danger, porn pornography is dangerous. It is something that you do need to deal with. Um, now, you might say, well, that's all good and well, but I don't know how to deal with it. I have other videos for that, but that's outside the scope of this video. So have a great rest of the day. See ya.